I just gotta remember. I don't remember how loud it was. That's my only issue. Okay, what was they doing? I th they go just exploring this world until Kim comes back. Just the next day, which is in like seven hours from now, when I have to go to bed. I don't be have to go back to the hotel either. I have a place here that I could sleep. Um, ancient pain is peeling off the roof of the shaded bench, covering rust. Okay. Um, right now we're just exploring around. Whole area. I was not expecting this whole area. The science of enter the the reti. Okay. Uh, we found a dead body. That. Um, the door is not only barred shut; it is unaccessible. In here. Oh, oh, it's a flan thing. Flan people the people. I like. I want to use the AWASD just to like move around, but I know I can't. I can't do that. Go around. Um. Ooh. It is scattering of uh, bullet holes and spread across the cracked wall, reaching from one corner to the other. More bullet holes. Something has definitely happened here. Um, the density and spread of these bullet holes is surprising. This takes a lot of bullets. Fully automatic fire. Uh, automatic rifle fire. Let's see what we got here. Damn it. I'm dumb. I need to piece together the big picture just now. There's a hole in this hypothesis. Oh. Um. Something laughing at me now. Tell that. I can't go back to it. Um, okay. <laughs> you got stuck for a second. Funny. Yeah, I don't... I don't think I... Can I go this way? No, it's, it's blocked. So... Oh, what's here? Okay, let me look at my task. I'm trying to remember what I'm supposed to do. Okay, we gotta return to the dead body. Return to the dead body with Kim. There's a dead body. Okay, I got to wait for Kim. Uh, Cesa refused to talk about her friend. Maybe she'll open up later once you help them up, set up the nightclub. Help Raver start a nightclub. Um, oh, the spookers. Okay, I could do that. This is like the only thing I could do. Locate a working firearm that shoots 4.46 ammo. Uh, isn't that the rifle? Why not? Uh, what was that? A library card found from a pocket of dead men on the Maritanese boardwalk. It's still slightly damp due to touch. The cover bears the stamp of Jamrock Public Library. The library card is folded into two and still slightly wet to the touch. The front sign says um, Central, Central Jamrock Public Library card issued to Billy Mejean. Expires July 53. Also, his name is Billy. Billy is a unisex name. Could be the deceased or his family member. Ah, that's good water. Real good water. Um, whoever owns this card is an avid reader. You find a list of books written in blue pencil. Video thriller stand a little less between me and the sun. The last one is the list is The Glittening Curve by M. Tibbalt. Um, a library stamp indicates that the book has been re returned. Most of these titles seem to be in sci-fi genre. Some thrillers too. Look at the backside. If lost, please return to the car to the library. Dial 0050255211. Or visit us uh, Monroe Street 78 Jamrock. Okay, so I gotta go to Jamrock then. Can I go to Jamrock? I don't know if I could go to Head Jam. Ew. Jamrock. Pants. Got some cavalry boots, which give me some perspection of view from above. What does my boots give me? Nah. Do that. Um, got that. What is this? What is that replace? Oh, it's my hat. Uh, I get plus two logic, but perception goes down, so it kind of balances out with the boots. Uh, what is the jacket I'm wearing? Commander's jacket. 
Um, Conceptualization. I think I'm fine with that. Uh, no. Okay, the dress shirt. My logic is pretty high up. The glasses. What does this give me? Visual calculus goes down, but the severe flare. Up, so that up. Plus, do drama from that. Um. At me, my outfit is so hideous. I think the only issue I have is the jeans, and it's like the only jeans besides this one. This is plus two, the kingdom of uh, uh, consciousness. I uh, stick with the jeans, the gloves, I stick with that. Okay. Get out of here. Uh, so there's you are. I think I stopped talking to you just because I had to go somewhere last time. Um, but let's talk to you. Hello, I'm Gary. How do you do, officer? Gary the Crypto Fascist. Fascist. I'm just waiting for my friend Morel to finish up with his insect traps so we can return to civilization. Um, yeah, I'm more of a city boy too. I like nature, just not this bloody coast. It's mostly drunks and degenerates that come here. See that? Drama, degenerates. This man respects authority too much to see the truth inscribed upon his own visage. Uh, visage. Uh, pretend thou art a patron of virtue. I am neither of those things, I can assure you. I am by, by the books, clean as a whistle officer of the law. I'm not even tempted to... That's a lie. Degenerates. I've been trained to identify the slightest hint of degeneracy by the permanent authority on it. Uh, drunk and degenerate, that's my crew. Sadly, I think I might be a drunk or a degenerate. Maybe both. Nobody's perfect, I'm sure you've been, yeah. Oh, I've been tempted, but someone has to stay strong for Rivercall. Rivercall? Did you pronounce it? I thought it was Rivershaw. Um, his gaze shifts to the pile of soggy logs at his feet. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> he pronounces Rivershaw with a hard K, unlike other people. Yeah. See? I, like, I picked that up too. The Rivercall. I like to pronounce it the hard way, the old way. The oh fuck you, you fucking hipster <laughs> bastard. Um, the ves vespertine way. He nods solemnly. Stupid way. <laughs> he winks at you, trying to relay some, relay some hidden message, inviting you to mispronounce it too. Perhaps it's odd. It's a secret right, a very frag fringe nationalist handshake, probably. Um, is this your mug? Hey Mug, why do you think that? I can see you recognize it, it's in your eyes. You seem like the kind of guy who might have a collection of mugs like this, like home, in his colonial mug collection. Yeah, he does like old things, like he said with the... the Revic Hall. Where he said that. He likes old ways and old things. And old, very conservative, I guess. Let's say. Um, how do you mean? Forgive me, officer, but we've only just met. He's been trying to avoid lying to you upright, in case you really have been in his apartment. Uh, you're acting kind of suspicious. Did I mention the mug was found at the scene of a lynching? Uh... Yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna, like, you know... This... Be up front with it. Yo, yo, I found this shit, dude. Okay, okay, I admit it. I threw the mug away in the trash container behind the hostel. I know I shouldn't have, and I'm very sorry, officer. Pauses. You're not going to find me, are you? I would, but I don't know how. Nah, Gary, I just want information. Whoa, he's visibly relieved. Thank you, you won't regret this. I won't use another man's property to dump my garbage ever again. I mean, that wasn't the issue. I don't... At least we figure out who, who lives there. At least we don't have Kim. Kim would have got pissed at like Gary. Um, I don't know what got into me, li really. Work has been stressful lately. Damn, Kojoko's prize dumping us out of the competition. What did you do, Gary? Nothing, nothing. Just answering some questions, helping out the law. Here we go. Start pumping that sweet info. How did you get into the trash container? I know a guy who works with the trash collected collection services. 
DS Municipal. It gave me a master key for the trash containers I'm buried beneath. Probably you need to get into everyone's trash. So I can use the whirring trash compactor to store my... Why are you storing your stuff in there? I stay hydrated. I'm really thirsty. Why? So I can use the whirring trash compactor to store my own stuff. Yeah, what I can say. Why? Okay. Uh, bowing shamefully like a fallen knight. Garbage disposal is expensive as hell. Oh. The damn Hemians running it like a mob. I'm sorry, okay. I thought it could cost cost. I shouldn't have I shouldn't have disgraced myself. Gary, do you put the clothes of a murder victim, the man who was hanged behind the roaring rags roaring in rags into the uh, trash container? Officer, please. He raises both hands. Let me explain. It's not like that. Wait, did you? Do. I was only cleaning up. Okay. Wow, I wasn't <laughs> I wasn't expecting this. <laughs> I really wasn't expecting like Gary to be the guy with the with the mug to be to give us all this information. I was only cleaning up. I lived right across the yard from where he was hanged, and I saw him stripped naked. All the clothes lying around the yard, smelling. People are animal, you know. Yes, yes. Okay, yes, yes. What happened? Then I came out to clean up the rags because no one else would. I put them into the worrying trash along with a broken mug. Immediately, he changes his mind mid-sentence. Okay, I was coming to throw the mug away and I, well, I threw the mug there and the clothes there. There you go. As he shifts uncomfortably, a series of clicks like the clicking of glass beads against one another as they roll against the hardwood floor. You've heard that sound before, but where? That strange sound. What sound? That clicking I just heard when you move. Really? He fans his arm out slowly, and this time his motions are soundless. There's lots of weird stuff out in the reeds, though insects, trash, it could be the wind shipping some garbage nearby. The sound you heard was not the sound of something easily abandoned. Do you wouldn't know anything about the victim missing armor. Are more? No. He changes his mind. I mean, yes, of course. I know he was wearing armor, but I don't know anything about it. An infant could see he's not telling the truth, but he's too scared to admit more wrongdoing. Keep pressuring him. Uh, there's something going on. You should observe him more closely after this topic is concluded. Let's move on for now. I hope I can help your investigation in my small way. He's re visibly relieved. It's over. Actually, I could just... I have a level up. Yeah, I have a level up. I didn't realize I have a level up. Uh, my logic is so fucking high. Uh, hold up. There's some something that I need to, like, do. Oh! Shit, I didn't realize I have an actual map now. Oh, that's right. I got the map of Meriton Eats in the bookshop. Oh, shit. This is dope. Okay. Now I can see everything much clearer. Okay. So right now, I'm over here. There's the dead body. Over here-ish? Yeah, there's the tent. Oh. Okay, there's the horse. There's the... Oh, uh, okay. It's, oh, it's not really accurate. No. It is, per no, it is accurate. Okay, never mind. Okay, because there's worrying and rags. There's the tree. There's his house right there. Okay. There's the, the, the boat. And then here's the fish, the, 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 the harbor. And then there's a whole little section in this island over here, too. Okay. Uh, there's some stuff I want to do. Do a drama. Ooh. Ooh, look at that. Look when I click it. I wash bin. Oh, I want. I do want to shave. I want to like change my life around a little. Um, uh, I could do either visual calculus or was the map wall. Okay, it's challenging and interfacing. Okay, hold up. I want to do do hand-eye coordination. Try shaving again. 
Okay. I hope I could help your investigation in my small way. He's visibly relieved it's over. Uh, why is he shifting around like that? Analyze Gary's composure. Okay. Do you know anything? Oh, actually, I could... Uh, I could change my clothes real quick. Do you know anything about the man hanging behind the roaring rag? I told you everything I know. I'm truly sorry for the mud. I have nothing to do with that. He shits uncomfortably in his clothes. He's not feeling too comfortable in his own skin. Odd, I'd say. Are you a cryptozoologist too? No, no. I help Morel with research sometimes. Well, I learn some things along the way. But I don't usually go in for picnics like this on my own. There probably is a follow-up to this, but you can't think of any. It doesn't matter. Waste of time anyway. You gotta keep moving. Uh, so, Gary, you live nearby in an apartment near Meriton East. Points in its direction. Sure do, officer. His eyes narrowly slide. He's wondering where this is going. Um, have you found your door open lately? In my home, yes. When I was going to... He turns pale. How do you know? I'll be honest with you. I'm, I'm going to be up front with you, Gary. All right. Because I'm hoping if you're up front with me, if I'm up front with you, you'll be up front with me. So that's what I'm going to try to do right here. I'm going to try to get you to give me the fucking armor that you have underneath you. You have the, to you don't have, you have the torso. You definitely have it. I am calling you up. The girl has the gloves. And I think that's the last piece that we get. My home, yes. Uh, Mr. Ever thought it's necessary to uh, necessary to unlock your apartment. Mr. Claire, unlock my apartment. No, I did per his request. Not. Nah, don't worry, I didn't go in. Uh, per my his request. So you work for Ever Claire? Okay, I might fuck this up. He realized what's going on and changes. Officer, please tell him we're good. No, no, no. Tell him I'll make it up to him. What have I done? He sent the muscle after me. The man looks around, whispering. He makes sure no one hears you talk. As he lowered his tone, he hunches his back. Really, I don't know what is, what it was about. I just opened the door. Yeah, I don't know what it was, but he doesn't like you. Try not to shit yourself, Gary. It's just an open door. Our discussion on this topic is over, Gary. Not grimly. <laughs> <laughs> I love the, the conversations, especially the option they give you. So, let's see what we got. I really don't know what it was about. I just opened the door. Uh, yeah, I don't know what it was. He, did, he doesn't like you. Try not to shit yourself. It was just an open door. That one. Wherever it is, tell him I, I, I'm silent as the grave, the man thinks. I was probably talking too loud on the worrying in the other night about some theories. Looks around. What theories? This, uh, I won't do it again. If there's something, anything I can do to assist you or the union, just ask, okay? I'll try to help if I can. This scared him proper. He's positively melting from fear. Has to prop himself up with a lot of anger to keep it together. Ah, oh, shit. Scare him with the apartment. Yeah, baby. I do it. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's try. If you don't, then we could do the next level up. We could do with the composure, because you definitely fucking have the fucking armor. I know you do. You have the armor. You have the armor. You have the armor. Come on, baby. Damn it. Are you currently sporting some anal beads? <laughs> Are those... <laughs> Are those prayer beads I keep hearing? Is he looks comfortable? No, maybe it was just some beads. Sounded like beads, but what kind of beads might a man like Gary be hiding beneath his clothes? He pray reads. I don't pray. All right, I'll come back later. Composure. I realize. I think I could have like changed my clothes for composure. Uh, yeah, this has composure. I guess some glasses. Uh, encyclopedia. Um. Is that my only composure? Uh, and the second composure. I don't think I could talk to him with my change of clothes, right? Always a pleasure to see an officer of the law. Yeah, no. All right, thank you for cooperation. Uh, I'll come back to you. Uh, let me change back to my other clothes. Actually, I'm gonna keep with this outfit. <laughs> this outfit looks funny. 
Hello, hello. Uh, what, kind of what if I check the traps for you? He looks at you with uh, obvious surprise. I didn't expect you to take such an interest in our work here, officer. C cryptozoology and detective work are very similar. Uh, yeah, they kind of are. You're trying to find things, find little holes that may or may not exist. And most of the time they don't. Or you can't find them. And then you do find them. Like right now, you figure out who the hell um, was in the apartment and with the mugs, with the racist mugs. And there he is. So yeah. Yes, yes, indeed. Bow requires a great deal of research, attention to detail, and all out of persistence. Uh, what do I do if there's a phasmid in one of the traps? Bring it to me at once. Just make sure the trap is closed tight. He's not comfortable with the possibility that you'll claim the find, but he's lying about this even to himself. What if I encountered the phasmid in the wild? That's highly unlikely, officer, but in the event you do, I'll spray you with a perfume mixture I developed. Pheromone fi mixture. Made of musk and research chemicals. The pheromones should attract the insect to you, or at least prevent it from bolting at the sight of you. Quite potent. It will last you about a week. Um. Uh, I'm quite curious. Play it on me. He doses you with an odd smelling spray and then gives you a satisfied nod. Uh, what are these traps? There are four in total. One is to the south, uh, on the on this little peninsula, by the boathouse there. He points south. It's very near. Okay. Another we set in Land's End, in the northeast. It's behind the small dune there. On your way to the old radio tower after the church. Okay. The third is set near the canal where you crossed. By a concrete slab. A big thicket of reeds going up the slope, and among them, he gestures the trap in front of him. Okay, so I'm looking for these things, basically. Uh, you should check at least one of those before returning to this one. I just said it. This one's more of a technicality, but still better safe than stupid than sorry. I'm ready. Let's get it. Thank you for your help, Gary, and I will start breaking down camp. If you have any more questions, now's the time to ask. Okay, finally, you're being sensible. I'll start packing right now. Alright, cool. It is more cryptic-related business you want to discuss. You will have time for that later, too. But well, what if the information is vital on the hunt? Um, have you noticed anything off about your friend Gary? Huh? No. No, of course not. Why? Are you sure? Well, he lowers his voice. He's been a little more unenthusiastic about the trip, more so than usual. But that's understandable. He just wants to get up, get home and warm up. He doesn't want to say it, but this is unusual. Gary's been to the jungle with him. The place is way more challenging than the coast. Why so eager to go home? It's probably because of the, the the door. I think we already answered that question. Uh, I'll get going. Okay, cool. I'll be in the hunt for these things. Um. So. He said, "Inspect the traps." So there's a bunch of here. There is tr the trap Mora just set up. There's the one near the boathouse. What's the field building? Uh, okay. Lance and. And near the canal you crossed. Okay. So land ends it's like around here-ish. Yeah, there's the radio tower, so it's like around here-ish. After the church. They're near the canal. And in the boat house. So that's a boat. Like somewhere around here. Okay. I think we'll just happen upon them as we're walking around. The so I think we exhausted everything. And here. Uh, let's look at you for a second. I don't think you Hello have... again. Very oh. generous of you to Or I felt out, Gary's officer. weird. I can't wait to get out of here. Oh, since we got new information. And my composure is pretty high too, just because of my outfit. So like let's fucking get it, bitch. Uh analyze you. Bada bing, bada boom. Um that shirt looks very uncomfortable on him. Look at the buttons, barely keeping that together, thing together. As if something is ready to rip out from underneath. His massive mm, scratch or something worn underneath. Yeah, something, he's wearing the chest armor. I pieced this together like earlier. Uh, yes, like a piece of chromatic armor, for example. One that makes a clinking sound when the plates meet to get meet each other. That's a diff that's the wrong type of meat. Um, uh, resembling pearls or more marbles. Stolen from the corpse in the yard near where he lives. 
I see you're a connoisseur of high quality combat gear. He freezes. <laughs> We're just bullying Carrie at this point. Um, then sighs heavily. I knew you figured it out, officer. I'm sorry I didn't tell you at once. I was. Hydration. Um, I'm. I will. He abundance the shirt. See. Glaming white chromatic shine underneath. A thin layer of interlocking plates covering his gaunt torso. I was ashamed of what I did and I didn't want you to know. I mean, pretty obvious, dude. Like, look at your physique and for some reason, only your chest area is like being tightly packed. And you were near the. Uh, you interfered with the crime scene by putting his shirt away, his outfit away, his clothes away. So. We're not detecting falsehood, sire. He's gearing up to admit the truth. This shame is surprisingly sincere. Gary, what's going on? Later, morale. I got apologizing to do. Well, okay. There's a lot of things to ask. First, you're going to give me that armor. Give me that armor now. Fuck yeah, baby. He sighs again, hangs his head, and unbuttons his shirt. We got a lot accomplished without Kim today. Uh, and unbuttons his shirt fully. A cigarette that matches the dead man's boots comes into view. Soon it is in your hands, smelling of his sweat. But so, so light to hold, like a bag of cotton. Why did you really put these clothes on, in, in the trash? Everyone was picking those pieces off of him, and I was watching them do it. And they scattered his clothes all over the yard. Everything was smelling. He looks at his feet. So I went there to take out my trash and started cleaning up. All those rags on the ground. Him swinging up there, and... I had a lapse of honor, sir. I thought he's a foreigner. They all said he wasn't from here. You piece of shit. You are a racist. Only the curious was left, so I stripped it off him. He was earlier in the morning. So you thought he was a foreigner, so you thought you could fuck with his body? You're fucked. Yeah, it's fucked up. He's a dead. Oh my. I hate this guy. Um. I took it with me. I knew it was a mistake. Had I known it would give you guys trouble, I wouldn't have. No, oh, you fucking wouldn't. His lips start squirming. Fuck. We're detecting sincere contrition here, sire. He's not trying to flatter anyone. Why did you lie to me, Gary? Because I was weak. I should have told you the moment I saw you, but. The hell, Gary? You in trouble? Yes, he is. I'll explain later. He doesn't muster distress. Yell. Did you know? Who killed the hanged man? I always started with the union, but I sure as hell won't go around saying that anymore. You have my word. I don't, uh, because of the whole. Okay. And I won't be running my mouth on this subject anymore. Oh, he knows. Okay. Are we done here, Gary? Yes, absolutely. I would never do anything like this again. He looks around, relieved of some burden. His mouth is still quivering. Quivering. I won't mess with Mr. Claire uh, either. You have my word. Thanks for cooperation, sir. Damn, we got stuff done today. Now I gotta convince Gary to let me sing, because I have that shit. Um. Uh, that being outside. Hold up. I'll be right back. <laughs> 